Apparently, Marsha gave a bill federal report as a mental Whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh, no, no. If you're scratching your head and wondering what the heck just happened, stay tuned. My name is Kyla Frank and this is Rebel HQ. Now, I don't want to go too deep into what CRT is. I'm sure you all have watched many, many videos explaining what it is and what it isn't. What I want to do instead is talk to you about the human experience of what that feels like and what that looks like and what that will be for Black and POC students and young people across this country. As a Black woman, I didn't have a rigorous um, education that surrounded Black history. I was fortunate enough to go to a predominantly Black high school and where I was taught more about where I've where my people come from and the struggles that we face in this country. But in elementary school and middle school and talking to my other colleagues and friends about their experiences, especially my Black and POC colleagues, they stated that they didn't get the, the same experience, especially if they were from a different area, especially if you were in the South. And so it is really just hard to see that the history that's already not really being taught is being fought so hard against. And that shows you that Republican playbook. It's the different name, but the same game. Throw out buzzword salads, throw out Marxism, racism, socialism, any other isms, and feed into that racism and bigotry in this country, and that's how you win elections. And this is no different. And so I need everyone to be paying attention to this. I need people to be tapping into their local legislators because these bills are popping up all around the country. Like I said it before, this is not the first bill that an Alabama legislator put up. They put three anti-CRT bills up during the summer. And the fight for it, it's, it's winning. Unfortunately, the bill is going to hit the Senate floor this week. And so we should all be aware and all be wary of this rise of the anti-CRT movement and be more active in our communities to fight against it.